asking you, how long have you had your engraver? Um, what was the main reasons for purchasing? Um, I think we've had this about approximately two years. Um, we first we went down to the went down to this national memorial exhibition to see it on demo, um, and I looked at there was a couple of firms that had impact etch or etches on uh, on demo there, yeah. um, and decided that this one was the the best one that suited our needs the best anyway. Um, and then we went down to see Rob um, down in uh, in your workshop just to see how it worked again um, and have like a training day if you will. Um, and that's when we decided yes we definitely definitely wanted one so we purchased one then. Um, I forgot what the other half of your question was. Um, yeah, main reasons really for purchasing. Uh, yeah, well we were getting all our design work designs done um, from um, the memorial, you know, or, or people that we buy our stones off, you see. Yeah. Um, and we just decided we wanted to stock more blank headstones ourselves um, and buy them in bigger numbers and so then and put the designs on ourselves. Okay. And this has obviously enabled us to do that. So. What benefits then has it brought to the business here? Um, certainly, we don't have to wait on uh, import times. Um, because what we're finding with, with stones, because we can keep them in stock, we can also do, do, the, do the designs ourselves, we can turn the, uh, the stones around faster, which yeah. is, a, 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 I think, it's a big benefit. Yeah. Um, we can also do samples of the design, which quite often put families at, at ease as well, if they've got their own specific photo or um, a picture that they want, on scraps of stone or off cuts of stone, we can do samples for them, so they know exactly what they're getting. Sure. Um, which they quite like as well, and they've got something which they can keep. What's the big fat been from customers so far that you've done etches for? Um, they've all been great. Yeah, everyone's been really, yeah. really impressed, and really complimentary about the designs and the quality of them. Um, sometimes have to just be mindful about which materials you are etching on. Mm. Um, but then we've also found ways that um, some of those materials that perhaps don't etch quite as well, you can also um, use different techniques with Dremels and with your sandblaster as well to, to make yeah. those designs stand out further anyway. Okay. Do you paint, do you paint the etches? Um, we've done a few but I, I quite like them just as a natural contrast. We, I mean we always mm. highlight them yes. with a, with a uh, a, a white spray paint, but um, I don't think you really need to um, to paint them. And to be honest, a lot yeah. of our designs go into churchyards as well, so they wouldn't allow coloured yeah. designs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, are you doing them onto headstones mainly, or tablets, or a bit of both? Um, mainly onto headstones. We have done some on tablets, and I have done actually, which was quite uh, a little bit different. I did a um, some trophies as well for um, it was for the, actually the English National Fell Running Championship. Wow! Um, and so we got some images. I was given some images of fell runners um, on some sort of fell scenery. Yeah. Um, and we etched all those onto all the trophies. That sounds great. Is it? Do you, do you, did you find it easy to use and to set up? Um, Initially, not being very technically minded myself, it was um, mm. it was quite a steep learning curve. But mm. once you've you know once you've had a practice, uh, once you get used to it, I find it quite easy to work. To be fair now, right. um, and there's things about the uh, you know on the on the laptop which you're kind of learning all the time as well. Um, so yes, initially, unless you're used to using computers which I'm, you know, I, ca I can operate them, but, yes. um, but you know, as long as you, as long as you take it slowly and, you know, what I found very helpful is, um, if I've had any queries, pick up the phone, Rob talks me through, yeah. or, or yourself, you've been out and you felt yeah. it, haven't you? Yes. Um, and so, yeah, and I mean, the one thing I will say is, I've only ever made one mistake when I'm etching as well, 
Rubbish. I shouldn't really say because I'll probably <laughs> You're allowed one. I've cursed myself. I'm You're allowed the next, the next one. one. <laughs> but yeah, it's um what would so what would you say to anybody sort of thinking about making the purchase? Because I'm obviously talking to a lot of people. Yeah. And some for some it's a it's a, a big step. Yeah. What, what would you say to them? Um I would say don't be scared of, of purchasing purchasing one. Um, once you've uh, once you've got one, obviously it's it's down to yourselves and your sales team to find enough work to justify having one. Yeah. But I mean, we we did sample panels for showrooms. We've done, or we've made sure that we've got plenty of designs on the stones in our uh, showrooms as well, and so people can see what you can do. Mm. Um, and what we have found very useful as well is. Although other masons in our area can can offer the same service, they can't do it themselves. So we can do it quicker. Yes. Um, and we can do it cheaper because we're actually doing it ourselves. So you yeah. so you do have the edge on then on other masons. Yeah. Has it given the business an extra dimension in terms of what you can offer the customers? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, we find that. The more people see these designs, the actually the, the more they want. You know, they might they might come in with the mindset that they just want a blank headstone. Yeah. Um, but once they've seen the etchings, they think, oh yeah. well, that would be quite nice as well. And could we just yeah. put one of those in the bottom corner? Or, yeah. Uh, it's personalised, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Have you been using it more than you thought you would? Um. Yes, I think we are. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, we don't. We we will. We'll, we'll only put it on a a small. Well, not a small percentage, but we, you know, in terms of percentage of new memorials, we'll probably put etchings on. I don't know, fifteen, twenty percent of them. Yeah. So, okay. You know, that's quite a good percentage, really. When, as I say, before we had this machine, you know, it probably that figure would probably be only be five or ten percent, and we're having to get somebody else to do them as well. So. Oh, okay. Great stuff. Yeah. And finally, just to sum up the whole journey, of your purchase from the Blast Shop, starting from delivery to right now. Tricky question. Um, well, once once we'd ordered uh, etc., I think I can't remember. It did. I think it took perhaps a month to come to be shipped and built, and yeah. um, and then um, once we'd got it set up here. Um, Rob was Rob supplied the laptop and everything, so it basically was, all we had to do was plug it in, yes, um, and set it up. And because we'd had the training day down at, uh, with yourselves at Quitchers as well, yeah, um, we knew how to turn the machine on, we knew how to get it set up, and we just had some sample panels where we could just have a go ourselves, um, to make sure that we could familiar familiarise ourselves with how it worked again, um. And any problems that I have had, as I've said, you know, previously, Rob's always on the phone, you've been out, haven't you, Don, to yeah. help me once. Um, I've found it, yeah. It's been it's been great really. Yeah. Okay. Ed, that that's great. Thank you very much for your uh, uh, contribution. And we were delighted that you're using it and you and you're happy with it. And yeah. Long may you have many uh, good etches to come. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Yeah.